last night we first brought you the story, an image of the Mother Mary that streams holy mirror. How and why it streams mirror remains a mystery. But this morning, KITV4's Jill Kuramoto shares with us the other miracle the faithful believe was brought forth through the icon. The Iversin icon, as it's known within the Russian Orthodox faith. To members of this tiny parish in Kakaako, it's known as a blessing, a miracle, and it validates their faith. Yes, and I keep telling my parishioners, don't take it for granted. The image of Mother Mary and the Christ child began streaming myrrh five years ago. Small drops that smell like roses. Drops were appearing like dew, you know, like dew on the grass. Suddenly a drop appears here, a drop appears there, and starts flowing down, you know. So how can you fake that? Requests for the holy myrrh come from all over the world. For those who believe the holy myrrh is credited with helping cure a young girl diagnosed with a brain tumor and a partially blind parishioner in the Russian Orthodox Church in California, where the icon came to visit. The young man who was carrying the cross, like a cross in a procession, well, he gave a cross to somebody else and um, uh, started venerating the icon after the priest. After he did, he just stood there. And the priest said, you know, John, let the other people venerate the icon too, you know. And John said, I can see, I can see. What happened was that he uh, was playing football, and, uh, you know, when a whole bunch of these big bruisers tackled him, his helmet came off. And so, you know, heavy pressure was put, you know, uh, on his head, and he became totally blind in one eye and about 90% blind in the other. Before he had the, you know, the accident, he was not 2020, but now he became 2020. A blessing to the parishioners here, yes, but a greater responsibility also. We certainly don't deserve it. It's through the love of God that we are being granted this miracle, and uh, we always have to be very grateful. Jill Kuramoto, KITV 4 News. Now, the icon is carefully protected by the church. We have a link to the church's location on our website, KITV.com. And, and if you're a believer, it, it supposedly has healed everything from blindness, eye disease, cancer, you name it. So wow. it's interesting stuff. Right. And I hadn't heard of it before. I had, no. I had not. Well, I think now it's going to get more attention and more yes, people might be will. visiting it.